Okay. Getting a little active now. Hold on. Whew. Welcome to Creepy Crawlies. Um, I already recorded this, but it didn't save, so we're doing it again. This one's called I. S okay. Well, y'all see. This story took place months ago. I had a friend. Uh, let me just call his name as Cheese while I'm telling the story. So whenever Cheese and I got bored in those days, we usually went to the forest to discover new routes and places near our houses. Sometimes we reached a gated property and we entered the property through the forest. It was so much fun to see that the security guard didn't know that we were coming in and going out. However, this incident changed everything and we never went to another place since that day. You shouldn't have been anywhere. One day it was kind of late on that day and we were riding our bike as usual. The sky got darker and darker and we passed through the forest, bushes and unpaved roads. The forest was so thick that we could hardly see any source of light. Thanks to my mom, she had told me to take my phone with me and I could move forward turning on the flashlight. Then all of a sudden we heard a rustling noise in the bushes. Okay. We stopped and both turned our eyes to it. Cheese stared at me with shivering eyes and said, Hey, why don't we just go back? I don't know what gave me the courage to say, but we're almost halfway, I guess. Let's go forward. That's so dumb, so bro. So we began to move again, riding our bike. But Cheese suddenly stopped, and I could see the frightened look on his face. I also stopped at the spot and looked where his eyes were headed. Something was in front of us. My Ugh. mouth was wide open when I saw an old man standing alone and muttering something. We couldn't hear anything, but we could read his lip movements in the bright light of the fire he set around. Then Cheese pointed his finger at something. I noticed that something was wrong. There were someone's skulls forming a circle around him. You can't imagine how I got terrified at that time. It was impossible for us to run away because the old man was blocking our way. He slowly turned his body toward us and said something like this. We need some more sacrifice. No, and he pulled out we'll pass his on that knife one. and ran toward us. No, no, I knew no, I no, had to no, think no. fast. Screaming, I took my helmet off and threw it at his face. And Cheese okay. grabbed a big stone on the road and threw it at him at the same time. He dodged my helmet, but fortunately the stone got him accurately. Oh. He hit his head hard by the stone and fell down on the road. And we turned our cycles back Bro, and drove off as fast did as that we from the without start. looking back. The next day we checked that same place, but neither the man nor the circle of skulls remained. We've kept this story secret, but to this day I always think of the same thing. What would have happened to me if Cheese hadn't have thrown that stone at the old man? Who was he? And what was he doing? I have no idea. Okay, Wansi. Okay. 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 I can't even read that. I don't even know what that says. It's kind of fire. No, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh.
Okay, getting a little active now. Hold on. Ooh, what was all that glitching? God, he's bro. What? Huh? Oh, my freak. Oh, freak. Bro, what? Oh. Respect it. I broke an actual sweat, so. What is that? Oh no, see? Why are you working overtime? What you saw, I was about to say. Man, she left it there. Good, good, good. Oh, it's milk. <laughs> oh, she just snapping in action. I'm like, I'm not touching that. No, no. I'm getting a new car. <laughs> Got a phone call, phone call, phone call, phone call. There's a nobody there. Oh my God. I'm. Tonight? I don't think I have time. Huh? 
Huh? All right, Hulu. I don't know what you what you got going on over there. Shouldn't have ripped it. Shouldn't have ripped it. That's disrespect. <laughs> he looked directly at her. Don't play. Don't play. Don't play. Ah! Look. in that mirror too. What is that? What is that? Oh. Stop, 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 stop. Did she grab it? She grabbed it. Okay, cop, uh, I can't even talk. Just get your mind off of it. Just go. Just do something, bro. Stop. Yeah. Hit him with a twirl. Do a little twirl. Go across the world. Bars. Come on now. Stop. What's wrong with the music? What's wrong with the music? What's wrong with the music? Okay. Talk to me, talk. Oh, no, no, no. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Hey, kitty cat. It's me. Is everything okay in there? Oh. Uh, open the door, please, babe. Please. That's spooked, bro. That's spooked. Oh my god, she's gone. She is gone. Never seen again. Never ever seen again. Oh, and now she's on a card. Did that say Junior? Oh, wow. Never mind. Freak that. All right. We'll do another one. See, hang on. My name is Karen, and this happened when I was 14 years old. I had the best teacher ever, who was also really kind. She let us do whatever we wanted and didn't care about us at all. I know that it wasn't appropriate for her students. However, because we were young kids, everyone liked her except for one person. He was what we called a nerd. I hate her. He was smart, but he was a big snitch and really annoying. He always said we all needed to study and not goof around, but everyone ignored him. We heard that our teacher had been fired. There were rumors going around about her. One was that she was fired because the nerd had snitched on her and told his parents. They all complained to the principal. Soon the nerd was bullied a lot because of it. And he finally Dang. ended up leaving the school and moving to another one. 
When he packed his stuff and left the classroom on his last day, I saw him crying and staring at us with a bruised eye. It gave me goosebumps. Okay. About two years later, on a rainy day, we had to stay inside the classroom. We were just talking, playing, and doing other stuff as usual. When the class was about to start, our teacher told us all to use the bathroom beforehand. So while some of us were walking to the bathroom, we saw that the teacher who had been fired walked into the school. Okay. She was calm. As we walked past her, she suddenly looked at us, stopped us, and said, Wait, I know you. You guys were in my class, facts, right? Facts. She was smiling at us, but somehow she looked very... I knocked my light weird. Uh, yes ma'am. At that very moment, Ugh, we saw gums like that. boys following her, and I could see that they were holding knives okay. with some blood on it. Okay. We then started screaming, but all the classrooms were far away Dash. from the bathroom. Say so help. Could Say we're gonna die. Screams. Then we turned around and told the teacher and the gang to please go away and spare us. Oh, you better run. The teacher glared at us for a while and slowly started smiling. Don't worry, you are next. Okay. As soon as she told us this, someone abruptly pulled out a knife and they all started grabbing us. The next thing I knew, we were dragged oh. into some kind of big van. <laughs> What did they do? What did they do? It was the nerd. I knew something bad was going like. to happen. However, at that moment, when they pulled us into a van, we suddenly heard a loud siren. Facts. Fortunately, okay. one of the teachers saw when they entered the school and stabbed some of the students. He immediately called the police. After they were arrested, all the students had to go home early and the school closed. Early. Never going to school ever again. That the gang was hired kind of question is that? Surgeons who were fired for removing people's organs okay. and killing them. Furthermore, our psychopath teacher had been working with them and she was a murderer who would have murdered parents and raped their kids. The whole gang was sentenced to 10 years in prison. She finally received a death sentence. Oh. However, that was not all. To our surprise, the police also found out that the nerd had been helping the teacher with murder for Dang. a long time. So... I don't know why he did that. But anyway, he will be charged with helping her with murder when he turns 18. Oh man, that was a crazy one. Okay, well, it's a series now.